Hello scholars. Today we're going to talk about decomposing natural numbers using our base 10 system, right? So first off, what does that mean to decompose something? Well, if I compose something, it means I'm creating something. For example, Beethoven composed nine symphonies. I can compose a poem, right? A composition is something you write when you're creating a, uh, a story, an essay, or whatever it is, right? Okay, so in math, we can decompose numbers. For example, I can take the number 12, and I can decompose it, write it as 10 plus 2. I could also write it as 3 times 4. And notice, these two of many decompositions, I didn't change anything, right? All Everything here is, is equal to each other. I'm just rewriting it. I'm just rewriting it in a different way. So another way we can think of decompose mathematically is to rewrite something. Okay, great. So let's take a look at this number, this larger number, 53,492. Does that equal 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 2? Of course not. Does it equal 5 times 3? times 4, times 9, times 2? No, right? Neither of those things are true. So really, when we're using the base 10 system, we're trying to figure out what do these f numbers mean, right? What does that 5 mean? What does it indicate? Now, I know in middle school, uh, we went over uh, the fact that each of these numbers sort of has a place value, right? So for example, this 2, it just means 2. This 9 is 53,492, right? So that 9 is actually s representing, standing for the number 90, right? The 4, 400, standing for the number 400. And we can see where this is going, right? We have a 3,000 here, and the 50 is 50,000, okay? So this number here, 53,492, we can decompose it in this manner, okay? Now, it turns out that each of these numbers right, can be written as a power of 10. This makes sense. When we're counting using our counting numbers, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then when we get to 10, we don't use one digit anymore, right? We need two digits. We need another place value, right? And then we keep going 11, 12. It's sort of like the ones digits are repeating each other. And we can keep going all the way up to 90. And then when we get to 100, we need another place value, right? This is the same idea. I know that in school, you guys played with these blocks, right? That's a one block. That was like a tens block. And then you had this thing that was like a hundreds block, right? So I know that you guys definitely played with this. And that's the that was the basic idea. They were trying to build up place value, right? So let's go back to here. Let's take a look at 90. That's a nice place to start. 90 is really 9 times 10. 400, well, 400 is really 4 times 100, right? But we want to write everything using base 10. So the question is, how can we turn 100 into a base 10? Let's see, let's see. Well, 100 is nothing more than 10 times 10, right? So this 400, I can rewrite it as 4 times 10 squared, right? That's what 10 times 10 means. So instead of adding 490, I'm, writing, I'm adding 4 times 10 squared plus... 9 times 10. Let's just leave it like that for now. Let's go this way. 3,000. Well, how many 10s am I multiplying here, right? Well, it's definitely going to be 3 times 10. Well, it's 3 times 1,000. That's what 3,000 equals. And 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, so it's 3 of them that I'm multiplying together. And 50,000, well, Maybe we can see how this is going, right? 5 times 10 to the, or times 10,000. And what, 10 times 10 times 10 times, 4 times, right? 
10,000 is 5 times, or 10,000 is 10 to the 4th power. So 5 times 10,000 is 5 times 10 to the 4th power. And in the same way that we were adding them all up to over here, we're just going to add them all up over here as well, right? So this looks a little messy. Let me just write it down what we have. We have 5 times 10 times 10 to the 4th power plus 3 times 10 to the 3rd power plus 4 times 10 to the 2nd power. And notice everything we're writing, we're writing using a base 10 system. Notice there's a 10 in each of these terms, right? And we keep going. We had our 9, our 90, right? So this, the 90, remember we said, was just 9 times 10, and we just wrote it that way. Well, 10 is the same thing as 10 to the first power, right? How many times am I multiplying 10 by itself to give me 10? One time. And this should make sense, because look at these powers. Look what's happening to them, right? Look what's happening to them. They're going from 4 to 3 to 2. And it makes sense they should go to 1. Now, in math, when you see a pattern, go with it. You follow it, right? So this 2, where we, did, we just sort of left it alone, right? We're actually going to rewrite it as 2 times 10 to the 0 power. Now it does turn out, does turn out as an aside that 10 to the 0 power is equal to 1, right? And that's something we'll talk about a little bit later, right? But for now, we're just following the pattern 43210. So, that's it. This is the number decomposed, rewritten. I didn't change anything, but it's the number rewritten in our base 10 system.